wake up students of McCarroll Middle School. Good morning students and teachers. My name is Crystal. And I'm Adam Makucho Brocast. The story of this weekend, Pitchport Oak versus Decatur. Battle of Fix and Baby Hitch Pitch. Awesome Becky, I'll be there. Our news researchers found out Decatur High School students burned a Bridgeport jersey to get fired up for the game. We contacted Bridgeport High School, but they had no contact um, that they did anything to get fired up. How about you? Speaking of football, what's your favorite video game? Hi, I'm Larry Grios, and I'm here to tell you about Madden. Here are 10 top player teams. Saints, Cowboys, Falcons, Bears, Jets, Steelers, Packers, Titans, 49ers, and Chargers. Here. Play for you. You execute that play and you have a blast doing it. Talk about game planning a little bit because, you know, it's not entirely automated. The user has some control over what's happening on the field, over what plays are being called, right? Absolutely. Talk about game plan and how it's kind of authentic and gives the authentic NFL feel. Absolutely. The default game plans are built on the actual game plans used by NFL teams. So if you run with the, with the uh, Saints, for example, which I think is running in the footage right now, that game plan for you is actually built like the Saints run their offense. Now, if you want to go in and tweak it, if you'd like to run Wildcat every player, Um, which of your, which is your favorite movie? The Smurfs, the Easter Bunny, King Kong, or the Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Probably Smurfs because it's the funniest out of all of those. Okay. Which is your favorite movie? The Smurfs, the Easter Bunny, King Kong, or Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Yeah, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. That's a very long title. Good. <laughs> all right. Which, which is your favorite Okay, which is your favorite movie? Yes. The Smurfs, King Kong, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, or the Easter Bunny? Okay. Uh, I do not like the Smurfs. I think they're creepy. Uh, and I have never seen the Easter Bunny. Okay? I haven't seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the new one, but I saw all the old ones, and they're my favorites. Some of the things you're going to have to bring is kitty litter, uh, dog food, and uh, cat food. Okay. Miss Britt is in the lead with the most kitty litter, dog food, and cat food. Okay. So that's our report about Smooch. Some of the reason for doing Smooch the Food is because the animal shelter isn't doing good right now. They don't have enough money to buy food, kitty litter, and all that stuff. And we're, we're going to bring in a guest what he thinks about Smooch the Pooch, Mario Reyes. So, what do you think about Smooch the Pooch? Smooch the Pooch? Oh, well, Smooch the Pooch, um, I know, all I know about it is that teachers are going to kiss a dog. Tell them what you come with. 
Kamu met this witness watch up Kamu. What did you have to say? Uh, my name is Michael Chandler. This is Cameron Carpenter. I'm Miss Watson. And we're interviewing her for um, this this broadcast. So, um, hi Miss Watson, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you boys? Good. Excellent. Well, we heard you talking about the smooch the pooch contest. Yes, what is that? Well, it's a fundraiser that we're going to do to raise dog food and pet supplies, cat food, kitty litter, things that the local animal shelter needs. They have more needs than they have money, and we have lots of dogs that get picked up. People are abandoned animals all the time, and so the Smooch the Pooch contest is a contest designed to uh, be a competition between first period homeroom classes, the class that raises the most pounds of pet supplies gets, uh, their teacher has to smooch the pooch. Ella, I, it hasn't rained in three months. Do you think it will soon? Yes, as I will, because it's only one size. Hi, my name is Marlene Gonzalez, and I'm going to report the weather. This Monday, it's going to be a high of 85 and a low of 65. Tuesday, it's going to be high of 86 and then low of 62. Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 86 and low of 63. And the, the cloudy is going to be, it's 10%. It will rain. And on Thursday, it's going to be a high of 83 and the low of 67. On Friday, it's going to have a 30% that's going to rain. And on Friday, it's going to, the high is going to be 84 and the low is going to be 64. That's all for the weather. For a very in interesting story in world news, there is our world reporter, Rebecca Arnendo. Your actual edit is not there, so you're waiting for this to be Well, can we do fun of this while we wait? Her dreams were dashed. No. This fashion designer, this is just rubbish, rubbish. But her eyes were soon open to a promising new future. In an independent Namibia, we need medical doctors, not fashion designers. Now, instead of improving people's looks, she's restoring their sight. On this week's African Voices, meet Namibia's miracle doctor, Helena Nduma. <laughs> Crash. I can interview you about the book Crash. Yes, sir. Here are some questions we would like to ask you. What is Crash's real name? John Coogan. Thank you. Why did they give John Coogan the nickname Crash? Because on Christmas night he crashed into his cousin. Okay. What was Pin Web named after? Pin Web was named after the re uh, pin relays. Why doesn't Crash like Pin Web? Because he's a he's a quake. Quaker and he's a vegetarian. What is a Quaker? Quaker is a guy who doesn't believe in war or violence. Thank you. Can you tell us some facts about the book Crash? Yes. Crash likes football. Pinweb is a runner. Crash likes to crash into things. Crash and Pinweb like met and when they were in first grade. Pinweb is from North Dakota and Pinweb's favorite toys of Constance Wagon. Thank you for the interview and goodbye.